Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. Today we are in Essex Junction at Frankenstein Castle. <laughs> in this quiet residential neighborhood of split-level homes, one abode stands out. A two-story addition towers over the garage and a sea monster lurks in the yard. Every day we look around and there's just instant inspiration. Pretend like you don't do it. I was gonna say I think that's because there's a giant kid that lives here. I know. I mean we're big kids ourselves, but making mm -hmm. magic for kids, if you're a creative person and you can, like and you have this big nutty house, like wouldn't you? They have a cool house. Is this different from your house? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what makes it different? everything. <laughs> Are you in there? I was a weirdo, he was a weirdo kid, and we both just kind of found each other. Well, it used to be known as Bamberger's Castle. Everyone in the neighborhood had been calling it the Franken House, and it looked like a 1972 time capsule. It stands out, everybody notices it. The layout doesn't make any sense. There are four secret passageways in this house. We knew when the house went on the market that it was going to take a unique family to own such a unique house. To a normal person, it was a nightmare. Ten years that no one lived here. Except for bats. Bats. We fell in love with it immediately because as artists we could see what was underneath. Great neighbors, love them as neighbors. I think it adds a lot of fun to the neighborhood. It's now known as Castle Frankenstein. Even if we won the lottery, like we would stay here. So Jim has drawings all throughout the house. So it's like every little corner of the house you're gonna find artwork by Jim. Yeah, we have friends artwork all throughout the house. Mm -hmm. There's a big community of artists in Vermont. I usually just take Jim's tattoo designs and then I will make needlepoint. He was my tattoo artist. I originally thought he was too short for me because I'd only seen him in a tattoo <laughs> chair. We've been together for 13 years and I, it's like yesterday. I make a living tattooing, sculpting, painting. Remember that movie, The, the Shadow? The Shadow. Yeah, I draw on everything, including my wife. <laughs> when the fall comes around, it becomes Halloween Town. And then immediately after that, it's Dia de los Muertos. We go right into Narnia, and then it is full Christmas in your face. Then you got Valentine's Day. Yeah. This sounds crazier when someone I asks know. us questions I about know. it. <laughs> He just built this shelf for my all of my wigs. My whole outfit is going to center around the wig this year. So this is Stevie Nicks. You can tell by the white wing doves where I was like the Kraken. So she's got like a little pirate ship in her hair. I love to cook and our kids' friends call this the burrow. This room we kind of kept more traditional Halloween. Everything in here is a, kind of a collaborative effort of all of our friends and loved ones. And I love it so much. We want to see what it is. Yeah. Let's I'll, go see I'll keep going. So this is our art space, our art studio space. Needlepoints, this was an original design of his. What? Mecca like a high, mecca high neo. <laughs> this is his first shot at sculpting. He'll be up in the wee hours making these things. What the hell is that? We are both those kind of people that are doing a million things all the time. This is our dog Grimsley, Dr. Grimsley von Frankenstein. Five teeth left, he's 14 years old. <gasps> He's usually the pumpkin. So this one, I'm a little puppet. This one, I'm coming out of a grave. He's in love with me and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Like, you're not just making art, you're making friends. Like, I walk by and I'm like, hey, friends. She's gonna scare the hell out of you. He'll be like, Gah! I have no idea where that's going. There could be one in bed with me tomorrow when I wake up, I have no clue. What is this space up here? This is our living room. This was the theme this year with spiders. For us, it's very, very normal. We did a, a Day of the Dead program for the kids there. I need to make a lawn monster and a 10-foot wide cardboard spider. And it's like, look what I get to do and bring this thing to life. Are you, are you hungry? Like, oh. So this is actually a pretty quiet neighborhood. This makes it a little more unique. When you get to be an artist for a job, it's like you're getting away with something in the world. Like, ooh. But I feel like it's our job. Like every little kid that walks by this house, like, there'll be yeah. kids like this. He was just walking by like this. 
It's their favorite time of year when they start seeing Jim get on his uh, artistic mode. You have to press the button and you have to do the Halloween dancing. What's the Halloween dance? Push the button. Push, push button. Like he makes little wands that are next to the door oh, so that kids wands. can take the wands well, on their way out. I'll, I'll go a step farther. My son has cancer. And early on when we found out, we were up in the fifth floor of the children's unit. You got kids up there, intensive care, whatever, and they're dealing. And for whatever little bit, Jim gave them this moment of just pretending they were being in, a kid, being a kid in Harry Potter. Yeah. Funny thing was, all the nurses and the interns and the doctors were like, mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not doing the dance. <laughs> yes! It's more of a way of like, bringing everybody together and celebrating an occasion together. And the kids are all grown up. The kids have grown up with it. And then we just hope that our kids will carry it on someday. Yeah. Happy Halloween, everyone. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Now's when we dance. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. Who's behind me? Do I dare look? <laughs> People expect that we're like lighting bonfires and drinking whiskey naked in the backyard, but really like and they would tonight. Right. <laughs> right, well, yeah. If you're a weirdo and you're like worried, there's a weirdo out there for you. <laughs> and we'll go over to someone else's house and there'll be just white walls and no art and no decorations. And we're like, these are serial killers. We're like, Morticia, I'm afraid of these people. Yeah. <laughs>